Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Yeah, um, it seems that me and you seem to have this conversation every week. It's, it's always a big weekend. Um, but pretty critical that we find a way to get uh, some points this weekend. And uh, I know the guys are been frustrated, but they've been upbeat. We've had a kind of a, an up and down week of practice. We had some uh, boys away at the um, over in Dunfries yesterday, so that broke up training and stuff like that. But sometimes we uh, uh, we mix up in the way things go. The guys go into a f fresh into the weekend, and, and, and we'll see how they get on. Um, the guys were down at the Manchester United game this week. Is that good for for team bonding? I think so. I mean, it's not often that um, opportunities like that come up. Um, so I think they were offered it, um, and uh, I wholeheartedly uh, supported it. I think it's good for them to get away, have a little bit of fun when uh, they haven't been having much fun lately. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm not going to send them down there every week if we get a four-point weekend, but uh, we'd try to work something out. Well, I think we have to try and be confident all the time. I mean, uh, if you go into a game timid, uh, you can see what happens. Uh, I think um, off and on we've been playing some, some pretty decent hockey, um, but as soon as you let up your guard or, or make a silly mistake, for whatever reasons, uh, teams have been uh, finding it pretty easy to make us pay. And uh, that's something that uh, we're quite conscious about, um, and, and we're just going to have to try to alter that and uh, you know traditionally this team's kind of rolled with the punches and uh, if you get down uh, you know we, we, we've remained quietly confident but uh, this team's suffering from a bit of lack of confidence but uh, you know uh, you get a couple wins under your belt and that can turn around pretty quickly so uh, that's what we're looking for and uh, you know I'd like to hope that uh, you know the weekend's going to go our way here pretty soon. Um, now this week, Matt Suderman, the, the whole Stingrays captain, kind of left the club, obviously citing reasons of the, the refereeing and you know, abuse from his own fans. What, what's your view on that? Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, the guys have their own reasons for, for, for leaving. Maybe he had a job offer somewhere else. I mean, uh, I don't really know much about it, um, but he's gone, and uh, hopefully that's a benefit to us any time a team loses his captain. Uh, we were missing ours for, you know, up to six, seven weeks and uh, it hurt us a little bit so so hopefully um, they wouldn't won't be fully recovered from that and we can take advantage of it you know the fans certainly in numbers um, it appears from where, where we're sitting and standing on the bench that the, the numbers have been great uh, you know for a team that's that, that just got relegated down to last place uh, I can understand their frustration I reiterate that uh, if uh, they think they're frustrated out there, they should be in this dressing room because nobody wants to be a loser. Nobody wants to lose these hockey games. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just stick with us and uh, we're going to find a way to get through this um, and uh, start winning some games. The place will be rocking again. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can find a way to turn uh, them into our biggest asset once again. I um, understand that Rock Pajic's left, left the club. What's the reasons behind that? Well, a couple things. Um, we were uh, carrying an import too many um, and uh, had to make a decision. Um, and, and this decision comes a little bit uh, by mutual consent. Um, so we parted ways with Rock. I think he's a gentleman. I think that um, he came in uh, under uh, some difficult circumstances and uh, he gave the best to his ability. I think he's, uh, yeah, I think he's a good hockey player and a good man. And, uh, Fight Flyers wish him all the best in his future endeavors and I know he's got a good career ahead of him.